What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the rear pad sensors on this 2001 BMW 325XI. If you need this part or other parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. I'm gonna loosen up these lug bolts. I'm gonna use a 17 millimeter socket and a breaker bar. Now I'm going to raise and support the vehicle. We're using a two post lift. If you're doing this at your house, you can use a jack and jack stands. Now I'm going to take the 17 millimeter socket and an extension just to take the lug bolts out. Now when I go to take the last one out, I am going to hold the wheel so that the wheel doesn't fall. Take that one out, set it aside and grab the wheel. And shake it off. I want to pull this brake warning sensor out. Um, this vehicle only has it on the passenger rear and then also on the driver's front. Certain vehicles may be different. So there's a little retainer right here that goes over the bleeder screw. You can just take some needle nose pliers and try to get this off. Slide that out just like that the needle nose pliers, just grab it right here. Grab the sensor and pull it out. The clip actually stayed in there, so I'm just gonna pull the clip out. If you're gonna reuse this sensor, you can put the clip back on. Generally, when you're replacing brakes, you're gonna replace this sensor as well. But if you have to reuse it, you can. All right, then we wanna take this this wire off, this connects to the pad sensor. There's a clip right here. You can just slide the clip sideways and then pull the wire out. There's other clips. They, came out, they come out the same way. Just take those off. Just like that. And open this door right here and the connector is inside here. Pull the connector out. There's a little bit of spiders in there. Now just take and push this button down right there. Pull the connector off. Here's the old brake pad sensor. Here's the new brake pad sensor from 1AAuto.com. This is for the rear of the vehicle. The sensor themselves are the same. As you can see, the old one's worn down a little bit. It has the same clip that goes in there. And if you look at the connectors, connectors are the same. Get yours at 1AAuto.com and you can do it yourself. Now we're gonna line up. The, this sensor connector is slotted, so you can find the slots and line them up with the connector right here. Lock it in place. Reposition it in this little housing here. Lock that in, and we can close the door. can take this, slide this back into these retainers, and lock them back down. All right. Before I lock these um, retainers in, I'm actually going to install this onto the brake pad. You can take some needle nose pliers to help you. Just slide this in position. Hit the brake pad and push. It'll lock in place and slide it over here where the bleeder retainer is. Push that back down and then you can line these all up. Lock them in place. Now I'm going to take the wheel, slide it in position. Make sure the hole's lined up, then hold the wheel. I'm going to take my 17 millimeter socket and the lug stud and get one started. Then I can grab the other ones. Now I'm going to use a 
17 millimeter socket and a torque wrench, and I'm gonna torque these lug bolts in a star pattern to 95 foot-pounds. Go right around again, just make sure everything's tight. And you're good to go. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com, your place for DIY auto repairs, for great parts, great service, and more content.